we're starting out in the shop here. Uh, this is our shipping receiving area. Right now we're a little bit clear because we've shipped some products out, some jobs are done. Unfortunately, one park sent us uh, some cars that uh, they had a little problem with and they sent them back to us and we're gonna help them with it. We're gonna fix everything, make it right. Over here is our stock room. We carry all the nuts and bolts that we need for the cars. Plus we carry specialty inventory stuff. We uh, try to keep something for everything. Behind us we have uh, cars from Boardwalk Bullet. They have three trains and they send us a train about every 180 days or so. And, and we got the Blue Streak from Cedar Point. They're just about ready to go. We've got Columbus Zoo trains. They're set and ready to get, start getting the wheels. The undercarriages put them back together. Uh, we have Kennywood cars, getting everything put together, the undercarriage for this. Soon we'll have the, uh, the bolts uh, all tightened up, running wheels, then it'll get spun over and we'll start on the upper half, putting the bodies back on. People send cars into us in the wintertime, you're doing it twice. You're taking them apart and then you're putting them back together. But a lot of parks will close down later in the year. Some even go in through the Thanksgiving and to a Christmas holiday, then they close down, but they want to reopen by Easter. So that window of maintenance closes down real quick for them. If we can help them out, even better. Behind me is the upholstery area up on the top wall. We do the seats, the bottoms, seat backs, the seat dividers. Right here, this is a wheel assembly area. Everything gets disassembled here and everything gets rebuilt back here. Over here, we have our handrail, the locking mechanism area. If you're wondering why we have a horse trailer in the middle of the shop, inside it right now is about 500 pieces of lap bars. Uh, we figure just park it in here and we'll store them in here rather than try to put them up on a shelf someplace and we'll take them out as we need them, when we need them. Yeah, it's almost the equivalent of two horses sitting inside the trailer. Yeah. They were our test trains that we used for our single-seater coaster and called Dick Knoble up one day and said, can I borrow the Mr. Twister? I said, oh, we got a new train we'd like to try out. And he goes, all right, well, bring it up next Monday when they were closed. And we took it up there and tested it and didn't get good results on the accelerometer from it. So we, we brought it back here and we redid a lot of things on it. And three weeks later, we took it back and ran it again. And we got great results on the accelerometer for it. And uh, everybody that rode on it, they, they said it was a lot better than three weeks earlier. And, and then we went and took it to a park that has a uh, corkscrew. And they went through the corkscrew, no problems. That's our 360 train and one park has it out at Idlewild, PA. But this is our saw shop. Seat sides, backs, any of the wood products that come in here come through the saw shop. And we have our weld shop. This is one of the machines that came from the Department of Defense during World War II. Because when World War II ended, Toboggan said, well, we're done building these tow targets for you. Uh, do you want your machines back? And the US government said, nah, just keep them. So since World War II, and they're still working. My painter said to me, we should paint the room a little brighter color because it was all white and it's kind of dingy looking after 20 some years. Then I told everybody, I said, come up with something that would say what the area is. So final assembly, you know, we build thrills. I thought that was a pretty good idea and hopefully it brightens things up and you know, it's not just a dingy place to come work at. We don't keep it dingy. We didn't clean up for you guys. This is how it is. This is Monday and this is how it was left on Friday. We, we recommend every 2,000 hours of operation that the cars come apart and all welds and our mag particle inspected. Uh, so we have our criteria that we ask the parks to follow and really haven't changed a lot that you would see or really take notice to because they'd be so far in, into whatever the build we're doing. It might be a couple of bolts here or an adjustment there that a new type of uh, piece. Cedar Point cars here, they're probably 95% done. They'll be ready to go out in another day or so. 
The guys are finishing up the adjustments on the locking mechanisms and we'll notify Cedar Point and they'll contract the trucks and they'll come, sit, come and pick their toy up. So it works out pretty good for us. Uh, we can help parks out. Sometimes parks don't pay attention to uh, their cars as much as they should. They just figure they, they're there, they're gonna run, they'll last forever. But everything wears out. It's an expensive toy to look trashy and not take care of. So we take a lot of pride and so do the guys here. So they're very meticulous and we go over the edge a little bit farther to make sure that they're a lot better than they, they showed up.